how to clutch in life. First thing you need to do is recognize and understand that any stressful thoughts or anxious thoughts you have pertaining to the situation need to be removed. And if you continue to have them, it just takes up space in your mind that could actually continue to focus on making decisions that are necessary. Next step is to stay calm, keep focusing, and you have to tell yourself next. Whenever I get myself into a situation where I need to make a lot of decisions in a short amount of time, sometimes I'll say to myself, just next, 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 what's the next thing I have to do? I'll use the word next in moments where I'm usually in a clutch situation, a 1v3, or I have to hold a site all by myself because of something that has happened previously in the round. And I noticed before, I would always get the first couple frags and then I'd start overthinking and stressing, like, what if I fail right here? And my mind would just, rather than focusing on the next decision I needed to make to actually get the job done and win the round and keep the site held long enough for my teammates to come by, I would just fill my mind up with thoughts that were literally just causing me to self-sabotage myself. The third step is to sacrifice the ego and pain that you feel, whether it's physical or mental pain. If you don't have that, then lucky you, but some of us do. It's just how reality is. We have things in our life that cause us to feel some sort of way, especially to traumatic events. I think that's similar could definitely trigger those responses. So you really need to be able to sacrifice the ego for clarity and happiness and that pain. You need to use it to embrace the moment rather just rather than just embracing the pain. The fourth step is to not take anything personal. Don't take anything personally. Understand that one moment does not determine what you're capable of, especially in the future. The fifth step is hindsight is good for learning. So accept what is and do your best in the future to carry that wisdom with you. The sixth step is Practice taking that outer perspective mindset that you have when you learn what you could have done differently after and implementing it into the future. Over time, you'll increase that awareness and your ability to make instant decisions will become easily accessible. The seventh step is trust yourself and firmly believe that the decisions you make in the moment are the right decision. Even if you don't think they are, still believe it anyways. Literally, sometimes I will not actually be sure whether I'm making the right decision, but I'm gonna still believe in the decision I'm making in that situation is the right decision. If not, then you're gonna be stuck in anxiety and in moments where you need to make fast decisions, that anxiety is gonna just cause you to lose time, get you stuck in your head and just self-sabotage. Another thing you need to consider is just, it's all rinse and repeat. You're not a robot, you're not perfect. So don't beat yourself up. Don't take in information that is irrelevant or counterproductive to your success. It's like working out. So you can't really see the results, but they come. So that's where the trust comes into play. You gotta trust, you gotta believe. The ninth step, eighth or ninth step, I'm not really sure is just to know when it's necessary to review. In moments where you're required to make those multiple decisions in a short amount of time, you don't want to have yourself thinking neg negative thoughts. You don't want to have yourself just not believing in yourself. And you really need to understand that you need to wait until after the storm before you start assessing what happened and begin to make repairs for it or learning from it. Tenth step, don't be afraid to focus on the moment and what you're doing. Don't be afraid to focus. Don't be afraid to be here. Be here. Be clear. Don't think too much about it. Sacrifice that ego. Sacrifice that pain. Some clarity and some happiness. And 
Don't feel scared or anxious. And if you have those thoughts, just know that they're there and take them with you. Keep going and don't even stress about anything. Literally just next, 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 next. And so that brings me on to the 11th step. Patience and practice, just patience. Understand that you're not gonna get good at it overnight. You're not gonna just randomly become a robot with clutching in everything you do. It's not possible. You're a human, not a robot. It's good to think logically and not get wrapped up in emotional assumptions, but at the end of the day, you are also a human. And the last step that I think really pulls it all together and really helps a lot of people out there, especially if you're an anxious person. I'm an anxious, anxious person, so that's something that I feel, or this is something that I feel is very important to remember, is that understanding that if something happens and you fail, you can learn, you, you can learn, grow, and move on regardless of whether anybody witnesses your practice and your work that you put in when you're all alone you can practice you can learn from those mistakes and you can come back and shock everybody every day multiple times in a day if you can and if they hate you for that or they they're toxic towards you because you're making improvements to what you're doing then obviously those aren't the kind of people you should be considering any information from because that information is first of all irrelevant and counterproductive to your success therefore shouldn't be considered so don't take it personal Just understand people want to limit people because again a lot of people are very emotional and choose to just not like somebody just because they don't want to like that person understand that when you're alone you can still make improvements and you can still make great improvements. It doesn't have to require someone witnessing your effort to actually make the improvement. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'm not really sure if there's going to be any views on this video, but I hope some people will learn. Please like, subscribe.